Good morning, Misfits and Dreamers. It's Monday, the 25th of November, 2019. Today we're going to learn how to roast the turkey the way we do it here. This turkey will be unstuffed, and then I'll do another vlog later on down the line of a stuffed turkey. But for purposes, this one's un unstuffed. So you're going to need turkey, roasting pan with a rack, and a scale. Now everybody goes, why the scale? Because I don't trust weight scales in stores. I don't think I've ever have. I have my own. So what we're going to do is weigh this turkey, find out how much it weighs, um, how many minutes per pound. I will tell you what temperature and how to do this turkey. All right, clean, dry sink. Bleach it out. Make sure you wash all the bleach off it because you don't want to contaminate the fields or have any contaminants on your turkey. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open our turkey. We are going to rinse our turkey and we're going to show you how to pat it dry. All right, as you can see, our turkey is a little over 22 pounds. So I'll show you how to clean and dry and dress this turkey and put it into the oven and why we roast it the way we do. So come on, let's get started. All right, we've taken the package and taken it off to turkey. There is your giblet pouch. So we're going to rinse this. We'll bring it over to our work area. We will pat it dry. We will season this with just salt and pepper on the inside and I'll show you what we do on the outside set your oven to 375 and the reason I say that 375 is because this way the skin um, so the skin browns up nice and it keeps the juices in and we're going to roast this breast side down, guys. Everybody says, what is the worst part of a turkey? Dry breast meat. This won't happen. And I'll tell you why in the next clip. All right, as you can see, turkey is out. We're going to use a clean towel. You're going to pat it dry inside and out. And I'll show you how to fold the wings in and what to do with the aluminum foil on the tips of the wings. And I'll show you how we... Uh, season this all right in this pan margarine oil and we have this stuff called soul food seasoning we're going to add this to it it'll let the uh, stuff in there bloom and then we're going to rub our turkey down with it all right melt it down with the oil and the butter and your Seasoning, we're going to let this cool a little bit and then we're going to put it over the top of Mr. Turkey and we're going to give him a rub down. All right, here comes your trick dollar spore spray bottle. Uh, we're going to pour this into the spray bottle with a little bit of more oil, shake it up really good, and we're going to spray on our seasoning on our turkey. All right, we're going to start spraying our turkey down with our oil and our butter and our seasoning mix. This way you get into all those little nicks and crannies and you don't have to worry about getting your hands all dirty and yucky. All right, there is our turkey sprayed. It works better, believe me. You don't get your hands all yucky and give this thing a rub down. But anyway, now we're going to put a piece of aluminum foil in the pan underneath and we're going to put this breast side down because this is the big problem that most people have. Oh, Grandma, the breasts are dry. This won't happen because underneath here in the thighs and the legs are all that dark meat with all those juices that are going to flow right into that breast meat. So if you do it correctly and let it rest for about 15 minutes before you start carving all the juices and redistribute back into where they belong and you won't have a dry turkey. All right, 
why the rack? This way you can tuck the tips of the wings in, they won't burn. We just add a little extra seasoning to the bottom. We're going to roast this 350, about four and a half to five hours. Um, go to dollar store, Target, Walmart, wherever you go, get yourself a um, meat thermometer. They say 140, I say 160. That's just the way I was trained. So we will show you what this looks like when it comes out, gang. Alright guys, that's two hours of cooking time. Skin is golden, it is uh, crispy. So we're going to turn this heat down now to 325 and let it finish off. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, guys. Alright, after about two and a half hours worth of cooking, we're going to pull this out. We're going to transfer it into this pan. And we're going to put it breast side up. We're going to cover it and let it finish. We're going to flip this over, we're going to put aluminum foil over top of it, let it go for another two, two and a half hours. Then we're going to take our meat thermometer, stuck it in the thickest part of the thigh meat, and we'll see what our temperature reads, somewhere between 140 and 160. Alright, as for these juices, we're going to pour them off into a pan. We're going to use the innards sweet meats, whatever you want to call these guys. Uh, in this pan, we're going to boil them off. We'll add some of that into this in the pan, and we'll make our gravy. Alright guys, this is the turkey, and to tell you how well it's done, it's falling apart. So that's really what you need to do. Is in fact, like you said, started with breast side down, and then flip it over halfway through cooking. This one is unstuffed. But that's the only thing this works as is with it unstuffed. So if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next video, guys.